Hey guys, here we are at uh, Open Builds, and uh, I was looking at building a new CNC machine, and I came across the C Beam Extra Large Mechanical Bundle. The thing I liked about it was how rigid it is, and using the different types of uh, C members. Uh, but the problem was is that the depth right there is actually too short for what I would want it to do. So, looking at it, uh, I'm going to try creating my own and you can definitely tell down here all the different parts so going through it I've plugged it into the cart and looked at the price and found out that for nine hundred and fifty dollars I could do everything that I wanted but it wouldn't include any type of motors um, that's unfortunate because that's something that I would like it to do that NEMA high torque uh, motor is really what I want so I decided to actually look into it a little further and I found this bundle pack um, with the C-beam actuator right there contains majority of the parts that you need for the build so I went ahead and started finding out the quantities and I did not want to include the little motor that it comes with so I'll uh, post up actually all the uh, all the materials that I ended up building and checking out with but enjoy me scrolling through the website for right now and we'll speed it up and I will get back to you guys in a minute Once we got that all sorted out, go ahead and uh, take a look at what we got here. So we have the CB actuator, it's the 1000 uh, millimeter, and then the 250 millimeter, that's going to be for your Z axis. Um, the linear rail, that's also for your Z axis support, some V slots, the attachments, the brackets, this is going to be 26 of those, it's a little bit much. T nuts. Um, they do come in a 25 pack, but there's going to be enough screws in this, so you're going to need about 100 of those, so that's why there's about four of those. And then, of course, our NEMA High Torque Series motor. Um, and just in case, we have the M5 drill tab. So, price turns out $955, which is not bad.
final build of the CNC uh, after a few modifications that I had to make. Sorry that I just have photos of the build. Uh, I didn't have enough time to just click the record and do all the fun stuff when it comes to it. A um, few modifications that had to be done. Uh, oversized gantry plate. Uh, the two wheels are on this end and on this end that stiffened up the y-axis. Um, second modification that I had to do was I had to create a, a plate. Um, the axis, because of the size of the spindle that I went with, um, because the size of the spindle that I went with it was so large, um, it rocked on one. So I ended up buying another um, size. And that one was a 1500 centimeter uh, long. And then I ended up cutting out a chop saw. Um, and used the extra pieces actually because um, the board was warping on the inside. So you can see them in there. I chopped them up into small little sections and used them as supports throughout the waste board. Um, so I had to create this piece. This piece, I'll post up the dimensions of it on, on the website and um, probably the actual file itself. So you can create it um, if you have a machine and you're looking to build a new one. Um, but this plate screws into this board. I did have to ream out some of the holes. Um, that one didn't line up 100%. Um, and that's because I found out that my beam was slightly longer than the other one. Um, so I cracked this piece and I need to replace it. Um, but that'll get fixed later. It's not hindering the machine at all. Um, if you put the screws in the middle um, of the two beams, the screw with the mounting bracket here, um, that makes this completely solid. Um, the whole machine doesn't flex at all. I was looking at maybe getting like the, the bigger one and running them farther apart. That might be a, an option. Uh, for the future is get the bigger plate that I put on the side and span it across these two. So at least then I get the integrity of those two members instead of just like the ends. Uh, but that's the most rigid part of this build um, to hold this clunky motor. Um, it is water cooled. So the water cooling is back here. That's the bucket with the pump in it. The, the lines run all the way up and over and out of the way. Uh, sorry for the mess down here. Been moving in. Um, here's the variable frequency drive. Uh, variable frequency drive. I've seen the 24 volt uh, helps and everything of that nature online, but I haven't seen the 12 volt. So I'll go ahead and post a video on how I wired that as well. So at least it's out there. Um, right now, there's nothing that tells you exactly how to hook these up. There's some good ideas out there but uh, nothing officially tells you how to make it run and work um, here's my new board I did have to upgrade already I had the original board um, then I wrote about how I bought this board that board got me into a torque lock and so then I just upgraded it and, and said USB CNC uh, was the way to go get some separate stepper drivers was able to push the motor out of torque lock uh, it was stuck in like a quarter step, um, so it was kind of stuck. Extra power knocked it out of that step, and everything's been working since. Um, nice part about the USB CNC is the jog controller. I ended up wiring up my own uh, jog controller, and I'll show a video of that as well. Uh, the waste board went ahead and took the MDF board, uh, cut it down to size, um, and went the entire board length. Um, and then I cut out with the planer bit here, uh, cut out the table to find out my table limits, really to where my working table limits are. And that extended out my working piece significantly to where that is, I'm good with that size now. Um, then I went ahead and put a piece of plywood as the actual scrap uh, waste board, something I could screw into, drill into, and I didn't feel like I was ruining the MDF below. And then this is my working surface. I'm using uh, Corian right now as a as a holder for little pieces of Corian, and uh, I just cut it out the right size, and then found the size of the screw um, and screw it down, and it clamps it into place. So then I can run um, cuts on that as well. That's how if you want to hold like a two-inch piece, this was a really good idea, and I'll probably end up doing that again. 
Um, so overall, that's the system, that's the spindle. It does come with a bunch of collars, and it's all these little yellow things are different collets for different sized bits. Um, so you'll get a different uh, collet just like this for every single bit that you have. Um, it's got multiple different sizes. If you can't find the right size of one of these collets, then you're using the wrong bits. So this one came with everything you needed and then some. Uh, some uh, drag chains just to make sure everything was out of the way. Um, and that's about it. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, um, feel free, beat me up. Um, I don't care. But, uh, yeah, that's the CNC for right now. Getting my new 3D printer in later on uh, in the month, so I can't wait for that. But, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, enjoy. And hopefully you learned something. Any questions, like I said, just holler at me. Thanks.